Hey guys, so let's talk organizing today and specifically let's talk about Marie Kondo. There are so many things that she has shared that I think just stand the test of time. I think these are genius, brilliant tips to help you get your home organized. I've done a lot of research. I've gathered 10 of her best tips that I think are really helpful that have worked for me and I'm gonna share them with you today. So let's get started. Okay, so one of her tips is at the end of every day, you remove everything from your bag. That could be your work bag, your school bag, it could be your diaper bag. Just remove everything from your bag and kind of start fresh. This way your bags will never get too messy, too full of garbage and things like that. I've even extended this rule and now I do it with my car. So when I'm done using the car, I remove everything from the car, make sure I clean it out. I've also extended it to my coat pockets. If you live somewhere where it's cold like I do, you live in your coat during the cold months and so sometimes your coat pockets could get full of things. I make it a habit to empty out those pockets every day, every time I've worn that coat or jacket. Another thing that she recommends is to use life changes to your advantages and use that as a time to declutter. I've actually subconsciously done this over the years. When we moved into this house, I took that time to get rid of a ton of stuff and declutter a ton of things. Then when our second baby was coming when we lived in this house, I also took that as a time to declutter kids clothes and baby clothes for my first baby and get ready for the second baby. Whatever you've got going on in your life, just see those in, as an opportunity to kind of start fresh and declutter. I think that really helps because you're going through these big changes already and it's a good thing to sort of start fresh and declutter and get ready for the next step in your life. She essentially says to see these changes as a chance to take on a bigger decluttering project. The next tip is about presents. We all have these presents that our friends and family members have given us. And of course, they thought that you would love them and maybe you do, but there are some times when you just don't. She says to let go of the guilt because the point of the present is to make you happy. That person gave you the gift to make you happy. And if it's not making you happy, there's no reason to hang on to it and keep it. So she says, let go of the guilt and let go of the present. Okay, her next tip, which I think is super helpful, is to declutter by category rather than by room. So instead of going into your kitchen and saying, I'm just gonna declutter my entire kitchen, just go into your kitchen and say you're going to declutter just the dishes today. Or maybe you're going to declutter books or maybe you're going to declutter a bigger project which is clothing. Okay, begin with the easy stuff. She says that if you start with the easy stuff, it's almost like a quick win and you start to build decluttering momentum. I feel the same way about this. Whenever I'm starting a decluttering project, I often start with the junk drawer because I know that I can go into the junk drawer and I don't have any emotional attachment to all of the items in there so I can just start tossing things, getting rid of things, organizing things, and it's really easy to do that. And that gets me motivated to start on something bigger that maybe I do have sentimental items, but I'm kind of in that decluttering mindset because I've started with the easy things and I've got my momentum going. Another piece of advice from the KonMari method is about handling your items before you give them away. I've heard conflicting things about this. Some people say don't touch things because the minute you touch them, you feel like you wanna keep it. But Marie Kondo says to actually touch it and hold it and sort of make a decision that way. She says this will let you give a good assessment on if you want to keep it. One thing that I do like that she shares is about personifying your things. Not necessarily like pretending it's an actual person, but kind of at the end when it's reached its useful life and you're about to give it away or donate it, toss it potentially, you thank that item for serving you. I have started doing that and I kind of feel a little bit better about getting rid of it at that point. So one of the things that so many people were in awe of Marie Kondo, I think, is because of her interesting ideas unfolding. I actually think she's most famous for this. I could be wrong, but this is what sticks in my mind. Her method, and I use this today, is to do like a vertical file fold folding and storage method. So essentially you're folding your items and then you're storing them so that you can see each one. And what she says is that way nothing will ever get lost in the back or at the bottom of the pile. This type of storage is ideal for small spaces. I think it's really good for dressers. I think it's great for closets, especially if you're organizing things in drawers or baskets. I think this method works perfectly. I do this with my tea towels, you know, my, my kitchen towels. I fold them in this file folding method and then that way I can make sure that I'm using them all evenly 
and I'm not leaving any at the bottom of the pile to never get used. She also prefers folding over hanging because she says that you can store 20 to 40 items in the same space where you could only hang 10. Another thing that Marie Kondo says to do, which I've been also doing for years, I think that this is so helpful, but it's essentially to store items that you regularly use within reach and then items that you don't use that often, you can put them somewhere a little bit more difficult to get to. So for me, I use my bread machine frequently and so I store that in my pantry right at the front of my pantry. I also have an ice cream maker. I used it a ton when I first bought it. I haven't used it in a while so that is at the back way back of my pantry hi guys i promised to give away so i am giving away two clothing steamers make sure you're subscribed leave a comment that says steamer and then i will enter you into a drawing to win i am going to be shipping these out these are the the steamers themselves thanks to high life for shipping these to me these are great i've been using mine now for the last couple of weeks i love it this is what it looks like it comes with some accessories it's so simple you just fill it with water it's ready to use right out of the box I find that it works really well, especially, you know, summer's coming. I've got lots of those silky, flowy tops that I just find are really difficult to iron. This works really well. I use it, uh, I've already used it on a number of shirts. It saves time over ironing, and you know I'm all about saving time. So anyway, don't forget, comment steamer below. I will pick two people to send these to, and thanks again to High Life for sending these. Now let's get back to the video. Another organizing tip that she has is to store like items with like items, and she also suggests taking it a step further and storing items of similar sizes together. And I think this is a great tip, especially for small items. I mean, small items are so easy to lose, so she recommends if you've got lots of small items, say in a closet, just get something that you can put them all into, whether it's jars or whatnot, and just kind of keep all of the small items that belong in your closet together. Same with your kitchen. Keep all of the small items that go together in your kitchen keep them together and then that way you'll know the area where you keep small items in the kitchen and that's where it will be. Okay, and the last genius tip from Marie Kondo is respect your belongings. So go into your closet, I could be guilty of this sometimes as well, check into your closet and take a look at the items on your hangers. Are they hung properly and nicely and put together or are they falling off the hangers? Are your hangers intertwined? Are your clothes kind of shoved in so that they're getting wrinkled? Are your shoes thrown in a pile? She really stresses the importance of taking care of your things. And I know for me personally, like sometimes I'll be in a rush and I'll just throw something back in my closet. But now I really try to be mindful and take a minute to actually hang my shirt up properly, put my shoes neatly. This is something that you have to learn. I don't think it's something that you're like born with. I think taking care of your things is something that you need to be conscious of and something that you need to learn over time. And I'm still learning it. Just remember that decluttering and organizing, it's not a one and done activity. It is a long-term kind of lifestyle and thing that you need to do regularly and daily. I'm gonna go ahead and link a decluttering playlist if you wanna keep it going. I've got other tips and tricks that I can share in those videos, so click on that and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.